during Lent, one of the things that the Roman Catholic Church always encourages us to undertake is to have some fast and, and, and abstinence. Um, it's not Catholic Weight Watchers. Fasting is not about us uh, not taking food so we can take off weight, as good an outcome as that might be for many of us. But in fact, it's about our desires. It's all about talking to one another and to God about the very things we hold to be most true and purifying our desires. In this day and age, we don't like talking about the purification of desires very much because that can sound a bit heavy and a bit old fashioned. But in actual fact, we need to talk about those things because all our desires um, are wonderful things in themselves, but sometimes they can trip over into something that is less than appropriate and makes us who we don't want to be. So for instance, the desire to love people can trip over into the desire to abuse people. The desire to have nice things can trip over into the desire that where our possessions possess us. And the desire even to eat can trip over into us just being gluttonous, where we have much more than we need and uh, certainly we just talk about what we want. I'd like to give me as an example to fasting and abstinence um, the question of a clip out of a film which is in The Lord of the Rings where Frodo and uh, is going over Mount Doom and Gollum is leading him and of course they're with um, Sam his very dear friend and at one stage they have to they're so tired over Mount Doom they go to sleep and Gollum wakes up and sees this as an opportunity to draw a wedge between Sam and Frodo, so he takes the elfin bread out of their backpack and throws it away. And when um, the sleepers are disturbed, it's Sam first who then accuses rightly of Gollum have throwing, have, having thrown away the bread. And then when, Sa when uh, Frodo wakes up, he, uh, there is this whole division and there's a big fight and eventually um, it is Frodo who has to make a decision between believing um, Gollum, or Schmeagol as he's called at that stage, um, or uh, Sam, and he is so tired and so fatigued from being um, and exhausted from no food that in fact he's distorted in um, his uh, rightful assessment of who's telling the truth. And so he goes for Gollum over Sam and leaves him behind. It's a very sad moment in the film where his own fatigue and his own hunger distorts his vision of reality. Now. The fasting and abstinence tradition in the church is about us not foregoing to that point, not us being weak, not us being people who are so hungry that we don't know what's going on or what it's going, what's going to happen to us. The fasting and abstinence tradition in the church is saying that we forego things for a better outcome, that we say during Lent that I am not everything I want, so we have to have what we need because in that film clip, he doesn't even have what he needs, which is enough food for this arduous trip, and so he ends up making bad decisions. In Lent, we have to have what we need, so water and food are good things, and even meat is a good thing. But we forego meat on certain days, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and we, go, uh, we forego certain meals, or at least we limit how large they might be so that we can have a higher, um, a higher calling and a higher sense of our own focus of desire. And what's the desire during Lent? That we purify our own sense of our desire for God, that our hunger in fact reflects our spiritual or our soul's desire to be unified with God. So this Lent, let's have a fast, sensible, sane and intelligent fast, Let's indeed forego the pleasure of some meats, sometimes on at least two days during Lent, and sometimes on the Fridays of Lent as well, where we might actually then uh, speak to a higher desire, which is our desire to know that our souls are restless until they rest in Thee.